Hey, this is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the infographics pack here inside of Premiere Pro. So this is our extension motion duck window right here in Premiere Pro where you can preview and go through different categories for our infographics pack. So you can hover over an image and you can watch the preview. So how do we import a template into our project? So you can double click it or you can click and drag it into your active timeline. And now we have a template imported into our project. There are two different ways that we can edit our template here in Premiere Pro. One way is to click on the customizer here in our motion duck extension. Make sure that the template is selected in your timeline before clicking on the customizer button. And here you have all the options to edit your template. You can also click on edit text and you can edit your text here as well. Another way to edit the templates, and this is the way that we suggest that you edit the templates, is by going to window, essential graphics, right? And here's the essential graphics panel right here. And when you click on the edit tab, you're gonna have all the settings that you need. So for example, we can drop down these options here and we have the same exact options, except you're gonna have more options to work with. So for example, you can change the fonts uh, here underneath the text options where in the motion duck extension, you can't change the fonts, but in central graphics, you can. You can also exactly enter in the value that you wish. So how can we go about editing this very simple template? And we'll go ahead and take a look at a more complex template here in a second. So for example, for example, if we want to edit this template, we come here to the text option and we can type out whatever text we need it to say. And that updates automatically here in our template. We also can add a prefix or a suffix. So if we want to come here and add the dollar sign to the prefix, we'll go ahead and add that. And we can also remove the percent from the suffix. And there you have it. We can also adjust the value of this very easily. So for example, right now the value only goes to 90 and the max value is 100. So you can see we have 10% left to fill up our icon here. So let's, let's say if we want to set the max value to 1000, the animation will only fill up down to almost 10% of it. But we can come here to value and we can set this up to say 900. And now that will adjust the overall animation and the text. You also have one more setting in here. You also have one more category called colors where you can easily change the colors of the overall template very easily. And that looks very good. So let's take a look at a more advanced uh, template here. So we go back to our motion duck extension and let's take a look at say the line chart. So for example, here we have one of the line charts. We can just go ahead, and preview it, click, drag it into our timeline. So once again, we click on customizer and you have all the settings necessary in the colors here, or you go to central graphics, which is what we suggest working with. And here's all of our tabs for other settings. So we can go to settings initially and we can adjust the max value. So say that we need the max value to go to 1000 instead of 400. Everything will update, the chart will crunch down and you'll see that data stays exactly where it's supposed to be. Uh, we can add decimals to this. So we want to add maybe two decimal places. We can do that if you see fit for that. And with the additional values here, we can adjust the layout and design of the template. So it just depends on what the template is, but we can say increase the text size and it'll make everything a little bit bigger. You know, that looks cool. Uh, you can increase the point size. So we come here and maybe set this to 250. It's gonna make the points much larger here. So another thing we talk about is being able to add or subtract data points uh, from this template. So here we have eight data points, but what if we want 10? Well, if we come here to that parameter and we change it up to 10, is going to add two more values to this chart that we can edit. Likewise, we can also come here to say six and it will remove data points. So it's completely up to you how you wish to edit the template. It is limited to how far you can push these. For the most part, you're gonna have some flexibility uh, in how many data points you can add. So now we can come here to say to the text tab and we can change out our text. You can add a suffix or a prefix. So maybe I wanna add the dollar symbol to the prefix and now that adds that automatically, or if you wanna add like a percent to the suffix, you can do that. And then I'm just gonna go through this and change out my text real quick. All right, so I'm happy with my titles that I changed out. I can go ahead and start adjusting the data points. So we'll come here to chart one and we're gonna have different values that we can adjust. So we come here to value one, this will be the first data point here. So, then, so now we can go ahead and adjust that chart value. So maybe I'll set this to 500 and you'll see that automatically updates and I can start going through each of these and putting in the data points that I need to for my edit. And then once that chart's been edited, I can move on to chart two and start editing in those values as well. So that's pretty much how you use this template. You also have the colors category. You know, perhaps we wanna change the title colors to a different type of color here. We can go ahead and do that. When it's all said and done, the animation will be updated depending on the data points that you entered and how you edited the chart. 